Hi, this is Denise Aloka for Jessica Sworn Designs Creative Team. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I made a journal page from some stenciled papers I created with a couple of Jessica Sporn's stencils. I used circles and squares, hearts and flowers, and becoming. I used a couple of different techniques to create the papers. In the first one, I used gesso and smeared it across the stencil using a key card. This is going to later on create texture. When you do this, you have to put it aside for a while to dry. So I made two of those. Be careful, you have to clean off your stencil afterwards. I did this with a baby wipe just so, so it wouldn't get clogged up. So the next one is just I'm um, putting color on the page. I always use a key card and just smear the color across, especially if I'm just using a solid color. It's a very fast way to do it. And I'm just gonna dry my paper with a hairdryer because I want it to be dry for the next step. And with a cosmetic sponge, I'm just going to dab different colors and push it through the stencil. I don't often clean the cosmetic sponge, I kind of mix the paints around. It'll make an interesting effect in the end. For this paper, I'm going to use um, spray black and I'm going to use the stencil twice. I'm going to use it as the positive as it comes out there and then I'm going to stamp it as a negative. I'm just shielding the extra paper I have over there, spraying it. Okay, I'm going to quickly put that aside, flip that over, take another piece and rub the back of it. I'm not going to peel it. I'm going to take some color and put it down on the paper and then I'm also going to use a baby wipe to kind of mute it out a little to spread it around. It creates a really interesting effect. Here's my gessoed page. Um, I'm going to put paint on top, all over the page, and then go back and rub it off with a baby wipe and you're going to have a raised textured surface. In the next shot you'll see some cool colored papers I made and the first two are done with that technique. I also used warm colored. So now I have a, a nice selection. I'm going to create a Henry Matisse inspired page. I printed out one of his images that I love. I love his um, drawings of women and their faces. So I'm going to use my collage paper and create a journal page. So take a look over my shoulder and see how it goes.
Thanks for watching as I finish up my journal page, and I hope you subscribe to the Jessica Sporn YouTube channel and check out everyone's designs and creations they've created for her. Thanks for watching. Thank you.